Welcome back everyone. Today we are going to do the studio tour. So stick around. Okay, welcome to the new art studio. It is on the second floor of my house and I think we are pretty much good to go. So it's a pretty good sized room as you can see. And I will be showing you where everything is stored and whatnot, but I'll kind of go over it briefly. So I have a little cabinet here for storage. That is my art desk with my filming equipment um, and my Tim Holtz mat, because I often just put it off to the side. <laughs> uh, I have another cabinet here, and then the infamous turning caddy that I just love. So let's start um, actually right here. So throughout the room, I have framed images of just portraits I've done that I really like. And these are both steampunk, so I just decided it would be really cute to match them. In the closet right now, I'm just storing like spare tripods, um, accessories for my light ring. And then I have a bunch of like things I need to sort, um, like pencils that need to go in all their cases. So they're just hanging out in there. Um, oh, and my haul stuff is on a shelf in there. And you can't see that. You got to wait for the video. So let's start with this cabinet here. Um, I actually got this at Hobby Lobby. They have really cute furniture and if you go for their display pieces, you can get them pretty cheap. So I got this, it had the sliding barn doors, which is kind of my whole theme with this room is I didn't want it to look super crafty and you know art space. I mean, it does, <laughs> but I didn't buy traditional craft room furniture. I bought actual furniture and used it. And then I wanted to match that desk. Um, that desk came, if you watched my studio tour before, um, you can kind of see the differences, but all right. So this is the paint and watercolor cabinet. This whole thing is for that. Uh, we'll start up top here. So this little jar, uh, also bought at Hobby Lobby, <laughs> has all my nice watercolor brushes. Um, so these are like, you know, well, it has some of my budget ones too, but like it has like my Princeton Neptunes, um, my silver black velvet. This is my new one I need to use. But yeah, so my nicer ones that I'm not going to use like anything uh, that could destroy them. And then this little mail sort of thing has a bunch of my palettes in there including my Caran d'Ache palette I also have this color harmony for artists book uh, just hanging out here I have some packs these are from when I did let's make art subscription um, that I just need to finish the tutorials on so they're just hanging out and then these are plastic sheets I actually put behind um, pages when I'm doing watercolor. Uh, this little cake stand here, I'm actually using to just store some glitter and well, just gel pens, mostly like my Sakura ones. So I have like all my Sakuras up there and like Pentel. These are my Spectrum Noir glitter brushes and then my Copic glitter pens. And then on the wall, I just put these cute little flowers. So when I'm doing face to face, you'll you see this cabinet in the background usually. Uh, let's do the drawers first. So <clears throat> this drawer here has a haul of my water brushes. <laughs> oh my gosh, I got too many. Um, my two paint pucks. So and then I've got sponges, the banana sponges. I don't know if you guys have ever seen these. They're actually really fun. So yeah, all my water brushes and paint pucks, paint puck cups actually. This drawer has all of my gel crayons. So I've got like my King Art ones right here. Um, these are stencil brushes that I sometimes use, although I'll, I don't do that much anymore. <laughs> um, this box is all my distress crayons. And then, ooh, 
This one here is all my, let's see if I can slide it out, all my gelatos. I'm not going to take everything out because then we'll be here for ages. And yes, you have to watch me put it away. <laughs> okay. Now this drawer, oh, that one's a little stiff. This has like all my watercolor tubes. So these are all my Arteza watercolor tubes. I took them out of the box. Um, this is just a spare palette that wouldn't fit up above. I do have some spare um, tubes that came in a Let's Make Art box a long time ago. And I even have like a Rembrandt one. And then I've got my Imgram and uh, Daniel Smith set back there. Uh, so I'm just kind of keeping all my loose tubes in here. And then this drawer just has odds and ends. I've got some spare palette knives, all my washi tape, spare jars, um, and then these water-soluble oil pastels. All right. This first slider. So on this shelf, this is all of my pan pastels. So I have my pan pastel basket. This has like the my mini palettes, all my tools, the brushes I only use for pan pastel, um, and then all my spare soft tool thingies. And then I have my two large palettes back here. And then this shelf is mostly distress ink. So this is all of my sponges and like even in these are sponges that have been used. So that's those and then these are my distress inks in these two things here. Oops. So how I have them set up is the labels are always facing no matter which way you turn so you can see. Oops. That's my Simon Hurley stamping foam. Let's just get those in there. These stack. They're actually refrigerator organizers and they stack on top. And then this is a smaller size so it doesn't stack. It just kind of scoots in. Got my Distress Water Sprayer that I use often for watercolor and not Distress Ink. My inking brushes, and then all my Mod Podges and Nouveau glitters are in here for now. Because I can't decide where I want to store those. <laughs> Alright. Alright, let's go to this one. So, over here, we've got two shelves. So, the bottom shelf has oh, those jets. Um, I have my Arteza gouache, my Liquitex um, gesso back there, another palette, and then here is like a bunch of watercolor palettes and odds and ends that didn't fit <clears throat> on the other shelf. Like I have my Art and Fly, Artistro, these are all like budget ones. <laughs> Spare Neo Colors. I keep getting these in art subscription boxes. Oh my gosh. Um, and then my Ink Tense paint palette. So that's all down here. That's not budget, but. <laughs> and then this is all my watercolor pans and palettes and sets so far. I actually have a whole bunch in my haul stash <laughs> that you guys will see when I do it. So, like up above, I have all my smaller palettes um like these are from art spirits and then i have like my Calero and kiritakis and then <laughs> this entire oh wow that's hard to hold with one hand this entire one here is all um watercolor confection palettes that's all that's in here so every single one I now own. I didn't buy the complexion set because that is a mixture of all these. So don't buy that set unless you want doubles. Uh, this one here has like my Jean Davenport's Art and Fly and Paul Rubens. Oh man, I don't even know if I'm going to be able to get that back in there. And again, I'm just using their fridge organizers. So see how they stack. This is my Schminka palette. It's kind of just hanging there. I'm trying to find something I can use for storage right here vertically, but if not, I'm just going to get more fridge things and just throw them in there because it can stack pretty high. All right, let's check out the Caddy. 
So this was in my prior video. It spins. It's actually really cool. <laughs> um, so on top I have one of my favorite little portraits. And then in these little cups on the pegboard, odds and ends, um, Poscas, little accent pens, uh, colored fine liners, and then this is all black fine liners. I have so many from art subscription boxes, it's like ridiculous. All my white gel pens, different sizes. Uh, these are my clear Tombow blenders, pipettes for watercolors. Uh, these are all graphite pencils um, and one random white charcoal. These are all clear alcohol blenders or colorless. These are all my cheap brushes. I use these for like little splashes, washes, but they're not, actually this one's not, yeah, that is cheap. <laughs> um, but like I, I'm okay using those with mediums that might ruin them. Um, down here on these shelves are basically liquid watercolors. So I have all my Ecoline, I have a, a bunch of dandelion ones here. I have graphics. Um, one PH Martins. I do want to get more. They're fun. A Liquitex. These are powdered watercolors I got in a sketch box. This is all my distress ink sprays. And then I have some reinkers and embossing powders. Um, I have to remember which way we can spin this. So let's spin this way. Okay, so this side has just shelving. Um, and so basically up here are finished pages. Uh, this pile here or this shelf is works in progress, um, including things like I'm doing on camera. And then down here, this is also things I need to swatch and or do on camera. So lots to do, lots to do. Okay, so I can spin it this way. This is just my cork board. Um, I haven't really done much with this yet. I have like art subscription stickers there and they're somewhere else. Um, cards that are sent to me. I actually have a few more cards from subscribers I need to put up here. Uh, my daughter's origami puppy. I can't, I can't let it go. Um, in these drawers, these are, this drawer is just basically craft supplies that I don't really use. This is all paper and canvas surfaces. I mean, I've got every, all sorts of things like my sketchbox stuff. Um, I've got even, gosh, I've, everything's in there. And my good water paper, watercolor paper is at the bottom. I'm gonna have to fish that out. All right, now we gotta turn it back this way to see the other side. It's nice though, it spins. This thing is oh, so heavy carrying up the flight of stairs though. <laughs> Okay, um, at the top there, I just have a spare basket and jars and my punch, my disc binder punch that I'm using for swatch books. So on this side, you'll see this cracked. I told my husband when we carried this up the stairs, do not hold the side thingies. And what did he do? <laughs> so um, I just have like basically paint type products on this side. So all my dragonfly glazes, glitterifics, distress paints. Um, I do have my pink soap. This stuff is amazing. If you don't have it, get it. it cleans like anything and everything off your brushes. Glossy accents. I do have some uh, frisket and gamsol. Just kind of chilling here. Uh, this is all stickles. <laughs> I almost have all of them. I'm missing like just a couple colors that I think they don't make anymore. So I can live though. It's fine. But yeah, that's my stickles collection. I usually have it just face this way. All right, on to the desk. Ignore the construction across the road. Ugh, normally there would be a beautiful field back there, but let's not get me started on that. <laughs> all right. Um, so if I'm streaming, I have my laptop on this desk. Otherwise, I put it away. I don't want all the clutter. So over here, I just bought like this little mail sorter. It has my creative companion. This is all watercolor swatches in here. These are swatch charts I need to fill out in the back. 
Um, my little sign that my sister got me a long time ago. So true. <laughs> uh, I have my Jarling sharpener there right now. iPad, just chillin'. Uh, this is my desktop vacuum. These are so cool. Yeah, uh, this little acrylic thing has um, what I'm working on. Now, I always have in this one my Prismas for skin tone. They just hang out there all the time. And then I always have a Coran Dash blender. <laughs> uh, these are pencils I'm currently using in a whip. Um, and then these here usually mean I need to clean and or put them away. It's kind of like my you know, organized madness. I'm actually working on a project right now. I just was filming that during a little color and chat. I even have these little watercolors I'm gonna swatch today uh, from a little Etsy store. Uh, my Stardry Golds don't normally live on my desk. I'm testing them for you all. Uh, the drawers, it's kinda mix match. So these are all watercolor rags. I just store them in there. Um, these are all erasers, whether they go to my AF mat or like my needables and all that. These are all blender pencils. <laughs> Look at all these full colorless blenders. Oh, it's like gold right here, guys. Can't get these anymore. Well, you can. You can get one in a pack that comes with this one. It's not as uh, impressive. But I've got my Derwent burnishers and blenders, um, Lyra. I know there's some Prisma ones in here too, but my new favorite is the Lyra Splendor Blender that's going to basically replace my Prisma Blender, I think. I think. Uh, my chair, I bought this just for the new studio and love it. It's so cozy. And, it, and it's not bulky, so it stays out of the way. That's like important. Um, the center drawer is kind of like a utility, really. Like it has my craft knife, um, I have a couple pigment liners and alcohol markers for watercolor swatching, uh, notepads to write things down, watercolor swatch cards, uh, my watercolor stamps, including my pigments. These are just spare uh, trays to hold pencils if I'm doing a color along. I got some sketchbooks back here. Uh, the hand sanitizer is not because I'm a germaphobe. It's to clean my Tim Holtz mat. <laughs> that drawer just has clips. Um, clips like this and then paper markers. <sighs> Down here. So this is my swatching book project. It's all stacked here. Everything is getting disc bound into these things. Um, this basket is for things I would... Like, for some reason, I just want to color this month. <laughs> so, for some reason, I pulled this book out. So, it's hanging out there. Uh, that's just uh, holding my heat tool so it's not in the way. That basket is part of the 10 books I want to finish or at least try to finish this year. So, I'm trying to keep them all there all the time. Um... The little wooden box has all my cards that I use for tutorials. Um, the top one has all my spare hand sharpeners that'll probably never see the light of day. And that little thing there, I put my water cups on so the water doesn't get on my desk because I like the wood finish of my desk. <laughs> um, and then, like I said, this is the Tim Holtz glass mat. I just leave it here because I break it out anytime I'm doing watercolor or alcohol marker or anything that's gonna ruin my desk surface. So I just leave it there, it's convenience. Is it pretty sitting right there? No, I guess I could tuck it there, but I don't care. I want it to be able to just reach and grab. Um, okay, yes, I have a little waste basket. It's not really meant to be one, but I made it one. <clears throat> so we're on to this side of the room. Um, this is a beast of an entertainment center. That's what it actually is, but that is where all the pencils and markers live. Um, I have some more pictures on the wall here as well. Uh, this marker storage case I bought on Etsy. There's a guy on there that makes these. They're really cool. So they're slanted so that your markers don't just fall out. And it holds all my Copics. I don't have the grays yet, but that's because I have too many Ohuhu grays. So once I have those, those will be in there, but they'll fit. I mean, hello, get all that space. 
The only one that's really full is like the blues. <laughs> that one's stuffed, so I had to put that little one right there. And then I needed two for these earth tones, but I have um, my Copics down here, the ugly fluorescents that I'll never use, my one lonesome refill. These black ones all on these ones here are Arteza, and then these are just all Sharpies I put up here. I had these in a case and I found it was incredibly cumbersome, so that's where they're at for now. I just have these two random trays of Spectrum Noir, and that's because I bought the Jazza box and it came with those. Otherwise, I wouldn't buy them. <laughs> I would just integrate them in somewhere. Uh, this little acrylic thing just has my Tombows. So I've got some Tombows here. I just collect them randomly. I'm not like going to hardcore collect these. I have some Lyra ones that are just like the Tombows and uh, King Art that I got in an art subscription box. I have my junk journal that was made for me by a subscriber and I leave it here to play around with. This is, <laughs> first of all, can we talk about how cute that tin is? It's so adorable. And it has these little, it's a utensil holder. So I had to get this to hold all my Prismas. You might remember from my last studio tour, they were all in jars. Well, now they are all in here. So all the blues, greens, why is that? Oh, it's taped together. Yellows and oranges, pinks and purples, and all the earthy tones and grays. So these are all my spare Prismas. Um, I keep them inventoried. They're clasped together with my daughter's hairbands because they had like five billion of these things. And yeah, so when I get down to one, I just order spares from Blick um, or Jerry's, wherever I'm ordering other stuff from. And then this one lonely side here is my non-Prisma spares. And right now it just has Lumi's. I ordered some um, spares of polychromos that I've been going through. Oops. But I go through a lot of Prismas. Um, I, it, honestly... <laughs> Like, these cycle out quite frequently. Now, not as much since I started the alphabet challenge, but still, like, I will go through, if I wasn't doing that alphabet challenge, this whole bucket in, like, three months. Because um, I used to just do only Prismas. Okay. The, the Beast is holding a lot of stuff. I don't know how all this stuff fit in my other cabinet that was way smaller because there is so much in here and I'm like still running out of room. So over here is markers. Um, now there's a big open space. That's because I'm gonna migrate some of my pencils over here too. <laughs> so down here are my Ohuhus. Why are they not in the thing above? Well, I don't have enough room for them and they already are in this case all organized. Same with my Blicks, already organized. Um, and these are kind of my on the go sets. Like if I want to go color in bed, I can take this whole thing with me. Um, this is ugh, all the grays and greens that wouldn't fit in this. I might get a smaller one of these. I don't know. Um, let's see. This is, oh, Sioux color gel pens and my Ohuhu water-based brush markers that I'll actually be moving. Let's go to the center. Again with the barn doors. I love it. Okay. Now, this is not like categorized, and I'm going to be shifting all this stuff around a whole bunch, but right now I have some tins and stuff, and as I go through everything I'm testing for watercolor pencils, they'll all start going in cases. That was a long intro to explain why this is so mismatched, but now you get it. So I just have some spare Indra watercolors. This is my <laughs> glitter gel pen beast collection. <laughs> Come on. If you guys have watched my channel for a while, this case has been around for now two years. We know this case. Look, it won't, it won't even close. <laughs> it's holding strong, guys. Um, I've got some Castle Art watercolors, my fine liners from Arteza, some Winsor & Newton pencils hanging out there. 
This shelf is kind of a mismatch. So this has a bunch of different brands of watercolor pencils, like all small sets. I will show that when I do a collection. Um, I have more watercolor pencils. These are, oh, the Brunzeals. These are amazing. I loved them so much, I bought their actual pencils. And guys, yeah, I need to do a video on those. I, I love them. Uh, these are my Neo Colors and then my Lyra <sighs> Aqua Color, I think they're called. The the Neo Color impersonator. Um, more watercolor pencils, Pit Pastels, Chameleons. <laughs> um, back there is just my Paul Rubin uh, oily things. <laughs> um, I got some more pastels. My Eero Jitin. <sighs> I can't believe I'm saying this. I'm going to finish the collection. Oh, I can't believe I just said that. Derwent Chroma Flow. A lot of these in the tins are going to be moved ugh, to um, the whatchamacallit uh, cases. Yeah, that's the word. Okay, down here. I have, see all the things for cords because this is an entertainment stand. Um, these are my Derwent Artists, Crandash Museum Aquarelle, Super Colors. Uh, oh, Albrechter. I don't plan on taking those out and putting them in cases. I like them in those tins uh, because it's like three trays, easy to navigate, and then I'm never going to take anything out of that wooden case. It's too pretty. So those will actually always be in tins. They're just so much easier to use. And let's face it, how often do I travel? <laughs> I can answer that. Never. Um, some of these in tins here, like Castle Art Gold. <clears throat> I'm currently testing those, but those will go in a case. Uh, these are all my Derwents, like Ink Tents, Pro Color, um, Color Soft. <clears throat> those will always stay in the tins. And let me show you why. Why would you sit there and put them in a case that you have to sit and flip like multiple pages to see all these pencils when you can just open them like that, put a tray in the lid, tray here, and you got two palettes like that. Like, I cannot justify putting these in a case because I would have to flip through several pages to see all these colors. So, nope, they're staying in the tins. Beautiful. Beautiful. <clears throat> okay, but underneath is my spare Brute Fooner squares and some Art and Fly pencils. Um, the Art and Fly I'm going to move into a case. Probably they can join forces with these because they're both oil-based. I know, I know I said oil-based. When I say that, I mean they're predominantly oil. It's okay. <laughs> We're allowed to say that. Get that one closed. All right, over here are more colored pencils. Um, so this top shelf is the shelf of pencils I use more often. Now, Pablo's are normally in here, but they're downstairs. I'm doing a picture. Holbein's are up here, not because I use them frequently, it's just they fit. <laughs> but I got my poly case. This is Derwent Lightfast and Luminance together as one. Um, my Brute Fooner squares, my Black Widows uh, down here. These are my Prisma colors. Oh, I wish they made more of these cases. I really do. You know, one, one slot each, just perfect. I mean, you can see like how often I use these. No other pencil in my arsenal is down to like nubbies like uh, that. <laughs> so let's be real. Um, and then, yeah, I just have a bunch of pencils. So these are those Phoenix pencils. I don't know if you guys ever want to see me color with these on camera. I can. Um, and then just all, oh, I got to get down because this tucks up. All my pastel colored pencils are in that one, and then I don't remember what's in everything. I'm going to make tags like I have here once I finish organizing. Like I said, the closet actually has tons of pencils I need to put in cases. Tons. <laughs> Mostly watercolor pencils. But like I know Lyra is in there somewhere. I have some Crayolas. Um... Amazon Basics. I have a lot of pencils, so I know most of them are in here. I've been combining sets into cases to, you know, pare down on storage, but <clears throat> don't ask me what's in those cases right now because I couldn't tell you. Um, but yeah, this will, like I said, oh, 
I plan to, after I finish getting the other pencils and cases, they'll be moving over here. And then like I plan on that top shelf in here taking more cases. Um, now you're probably asking where are the 520 Brute Fooners and the Felicimos? They're in the project closet, as I like to call it. Um, <clears throat> that is where I just put things that I need to tackle. All right, you know what? I'll just show you. Let's just do this. So the project closet, it is scary. Scary, scary. Um, but anyway, I have extra craft mats. Uh, that is where the computer hangs out along with my paper cutter. And let's see. Um, so that is the 520 Brute Fooners. That is the case. And that is them in the box. Need to put them in there. Haven't gotten to it. These are all watercolor pencils I need to swatch. Like I said, this is the project case. These are cool little foamy marker holders. So when I'm working on a project with my Copics, I can just pull them out, stick them in here, and then these go on my desk. I originally was going to use these for storage. That's why I have so many. Um, and the, the markers go in really far, like only like that much sticks out, but they tip over still for some reason. So yeah, they kind of failed me. Uh, there are all my spare pencil cases that I need to fill. Um, these are my art subscription boxes for the month that have shown up. And I need to get through those. And these are some more pencils to swatch, PDFs to organize. Um, those are the Felicimos that need to go in that case right there. So like I said, projects, things to do. And that's my light ring and my tripod. It's actually a really big tripod. It just folds into this nifty little case. Now the shelf above it is my Happy Mail. Not Happy Mail. <laughs> some is Happy Mail. But some is haul, and you can't see that. You have to wait. All right, so that's my project closet. I actually am going to have our builder who did our basement come out and redo the closet and build shelving so that I have like little cubbies, um, but that won't be done for a while. We just built a basement, <laughs> gotta, gotta be savvy. But yeah, that is the art studio, everyone. Um, if you have any questions about, you know, anything you see here, I'm not going to link to everything here. <laughs> I just couldn't. But if you have a specific question like, hey, where did you get this? What is that? I will answer you with a link in that. So that's how we'll go about it because I, I, that would take hours to link every little thing here. But this is the studio for now. Um, it is... Not going to change too much. I might adjust here and there, but this is pretty much the final thing. The pictures on the throughout the the place here. I just hang like what is my favorite right now, but I use the command velcro strips, so these pop right off and I can swap out the picture and put a new one in. In fact, I have a couple from last month I might swap. Even though I love these ones, I might swap. Um this is actually an old one when I was just starting to really do a lot more hair and stuff. And I think I have a tutorial for the skin using Pan Pastel, but don't quote me on that. Um, that one, there's a, a tutorial on my channel for the purple hair. And that one I did all on my own, but look at that hair. That's pro colors. That's why I love them. Look at that. Oh, beautiful pro color and Black Widow, actually. But yeah. Thank you for hanging out with me in my little art studio tour. And until next time, everyone, take care. Bye now.